Hey everyone, it's Jesse FK here. Um, just wanted to do a, a video. I've upgraded my PC a little bit. I'm gonna do some interesting things, uh, I think, with it. Um, bought some, bought two uh, GTX 780s to replace my two 580s. Um, last video I put up, I had two 570s. And through and they were MSI and after a couple years one of the fan blades broke on one of the cards and then the other one was just making noise um, just from dirt but I run my computer all the time so anyway um, I did an RMA through MSI and they didn't have any 570s so they gave me some 580 lightning editions to replace them. So I thought that was very cool of MSI. Um, their customer service is freaking awesome. Um, their quality assurance department isn't the best. Uh, I had to send a couple of them back and get those replaced, but that um, <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. Uh, I was able to suffer with one 580. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so yeah. I have a P67 chipset of the Mac Maximus 4 Extreme, and I wanted to see how it affects the 780 um, in Sly using uh, the native 8x, and then setting them up so they'll use the NF200 chipset, the third-party chipset, and run those at 16x to see if there's a bottleneck in the bandwidth uh, between 2.0, 8x, and 16x. I don't have a motherboard that supports PCIe 3.0 um, currently. I'll probably be upgrading to the Haswell, um, which comes out like in a week from this video. So I'll probably be doing another video on that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and do like an unboxing on this one of the 780s. I've already unbox one of them. Um, they are MSI because I'm sticking with uh, MSI. Um, the EVGA cards I had before the when I upgraded from the 465 uh, to the 460s, it was more like a side grade. But I did their step up program that EVGA offered and when they got one of the five 465s back, they said that um, one of the, or some of the resistors were like gone from the back of the board, and so they had to, ch they charged me like $80 to sort of fix like three teeny little resistors, and it just really just made me upset. I, I've used EVJ for years before that, and they were great. I never had a problem with them, but this really gave me a bad, um, taste in my mouth, so I vowed to never buy EVGA again. Um, but I've been really happy with MSI, they've been great. And anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing, and yeah, I hope you like it. Okay, so here's the box that uh, comes from MSI. This is the stock cooler <coughs> version. Um, they don't currently have any of uh, their twin frozer um, the heat sinks yet for these cards. They probably will be. I'll probably do lighting edition, stuff like that. Um, personally, I love the look of these, the cooler on these. Um, it's, it's the same as the GTX Titan and the 690 as well. But when I saw those, um, I just, I, I had to have that cooler. Even though they're not as effective as like open air ones, they don't release as much heat in to the case. With this type, of, with this style of cooler. Anyway, um, it's got a little shrink wrap on it. They talk about their um, how great their solid capacitors are and just marketing. They don't actually have a whole ton. Um, yeah, they have. It just says like an advanced fan speed control, supports DirectX 11, um, 
support multi GPU mode. I think these actually run in a uh, three way SLI. Um, they act, they might run in a four way. I'm not positive. Um, I'm interested to see if that's the case, but I'm not gonna buy four. <laughs> <laughs> Two will be plenty to last me for years. Even my 580s were still like really up there. I, I wasn't really having any problem any playing games or anything. Um, but I <clears throat> pretty much decided to upgrade to the 580s. Or I mean, I decided back before even the 600 series came out that I was going to skip the 600 series and go to the 700, and then. I think I made a good decision. I, I think uh, the 700 series is going to be pretty awesome. Well, at least the 780. Apparently they're going to be rebranding the 680 to be a 770. Which kind of... I, I hate it when manufacturers do that. Especially when it's like a high-end card like that. A mid to high-end. But, you know, I'm sure they'll... <laughs> Nvidia is probably making a ton of money by doing it, so... I guess it's good. I, I like NVIDIA. I like the product. It's more expensive than AMD. AMD's like a better bang for the buck. But uh, it, it's pretty obvious that, to me anyway, that NVIDIA is doing a pretty good job at keeping ahead. Um, you know, the, card, the cards are actually, you know, about on par. But they consume less wattage, so I think the wattage per performance is probably better for the NVIDIA series. Anyway, so let's just put like another black box in here. Turn around. I think I'll see right here. So it comes packaged pretty nicely. Uh, so here's the card itself. I'll, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Some nice foam. Um, looks like they have the ability to put in longer cards with this sweater. So there's the DVI to VGA dongle. Not even uh, a full pin DVI. It's just like half of the pins. Well, whatever. I don't use them. Anybody that's using VJ, <laughs> you're probably not using one of these cards. Um, it has a two Molex to six pin adapter. Um, again, I really hope you have a, a PSU, a pretty good, a good one that you don't have to do that. Uh, one of the kind of ni nice thing they included was a six pin to eight pin. Uh, Still, I advise that you don't use these if you can. Um, but anyway, it, yeah, it'll work. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It's like a, I think it's a 250 watt video card. Then it comes with a driver disc, an MSI, and then a quick start guide or quick user's guide. Um, not. It's in like a bajillion languages, <laughs> like, uh, there's actually 16 languages on here, or more, holy crap, 32, and yeah, there's 32 languages, that is ridiculous, um, all the pretty much say uh, how to install it, I guess, it tells you what's in it, what tools you'll need, the system requirements, it says it needs Windows 8, obviously that's not true. Um, and then just like a quick little installation guide. Pretty basic, kind of weak actually, um, with the accessories. You know, so that's really it. Um, I was a little disappointed that this card being $650 on release does not come with a video game. Like all the 660 to the 680s and 690, and I think even the Titan comes with Metro Last Light. Um, for some reason, they didn't do that with the 780s. I think that was really, really dumb. Whatever. 
But one thing that I can say that AMD is doing is they're right now they're doing their gaming bundles. If you get like, depending on the tier of card you get, if you get their like high end the seventy nine seventy right now, you will get like I think five or six video games and like good video games. So that's that are like normally like around forty to fifty dollars a piece. Um, a couple like are fifteen or twenty, but that's pretty good. Five video games is over a hundred dollars maybe over even two hundred dollars worth of video games for free with your video card that's pretty awesome from AMD um, so that probably helps their sales quite a bit anyway um, time to show you the car itself so like I said it has the same cooler design as the GTX Titan and the GTX 690 Here it is, in all its glory. Just beautiful cooler, I freaking love it. Um, I'm probably going to get a back plate for both of them when those are available. Um, so it has an 8 pin and a 6 pin, um, yeah, which I think is good. That's yeah, like 250 watts, I believe. Or is it, anyway, 275, I can't remember. Anyway. Um, I like what MSI does here, they kind of just, they just do little things, their cards, like they have these little uh, protectors for like the PCIe slot, the slide, uh, slide control, or slide bridges, um, you got, you got a D, um, HDMI, then you got mini display, or just actually just display port, it's just regular display, you can see here, um, then you got two DVIs. Well, they're, they're both digital, but anyway, one's the the higher, the newer version of the digital. Basically, if you're going to be using um, like 140 hertz or monitors, you're going to need this. I believe that's what it is, 140 hertz. Anyway, um, those back on. But yeah, the car just looks really awesome. Uh, it looks, it is a black. PCB. Um, so you can see here. Sorry. So it's a beautiful card. Uh, it's just it's gonna be my computer, and you know it's gonna look like this in my rig, which which is it looks nice, but uh, I really like the look of that. <laughs> so anyway. The only difference with the with the cooler is it just says GTX 780 on the top instead of the Titan, GTX Titan or GTX 690. Um, you know this also glows green. You can have it pulse. Uh, you can turn it off. Uh, anyway, and that is pretty much it for the unboxing. Now I'm going to uh, do little comparisons between the 580s and the 780s.